Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing. Back again with another video. Shouts out to the whole LDBC. Y'all smash that like and subscribe button and share the video always and leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for the exclusive street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. Hit that notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat that's been dropped from Urban Media Fix. Also, go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. Hit the notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat that's been dropped. Every Wednesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. All right, so uh, shout out to the World Boxing Super Series. Um, this was the uh, the semifinals for the, I think it's the Bantam weight or the flyweight. One of them, this is one of these little bitty weight classes. I can't remember all of them, man, but it's like 118 pounds. And um, against uh, Inui the Monster, Versus uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez. And to be honest with you, man, I thought that Emmanuel Rodriguez would uh, would do a whole lot better job in this fight. Um, but let's, let's, let's get down to uh, what actually happened. And, you know, um, first of all, let me start off by saying that, you know, I, I didn't really appreciate the pre-biased commentary from uh, Carl Frampton. In the first round, you know, the first round was pretty much an even round. I thought I, thought I gave uh, Rodriguez the round, but it was only like a minute left, a minute and a half left in the whole first round. And Carl Frampton said that he already gave the round to the monster. I, I was like, who says that? You know, but anyway, man, so... The first round, man, uh, Rodriguez was actually, I thought he controlled the round. He pressed the the, uh, the action in the fight and the pace of the fight. Um, had the monster actually was uh, turning to the boxer in the first round. And he even admitted, he even admitted, you know, to the announcers after the fight. He was like, you know, in the first round, uh, Rodriguez put a lot of pressure on him. And uh, he said he didn't even know how the fight was going to turn out at that point. You know, he thought that. Basically, I, from what I got from what he said, like, you know, he he was getting battle tested early. And, you know, the fight could have went either way if it kept going that way, you know. Especially if Rocky Rodriguez was able to keep taking his shots. But, um, unfortunately, that, uh, you know, the first round played out. It was a, a, a good shootout. I thought I thought that Rodriguez was actually gonna be the, the boxer in this fight. I thought he was gonna get on, you know, uh use the ring, you know, and uh be the out boxer in this fight. Cause I seen uh Rodriguez, you know, do a little bit of everything to be honest with you. Pretty much a good a real well rounded fighter. Um I just didn't think that he was gonna put the pressure on uh the monster right out, out the gate, you know. Um, I thought I thought he did a, a real good job applying the pressure on, on, on uh, Inoue. Inoue was uh, looking a little bit, of, uh, I don't want to say he was looking a little bit worried, but he he he, he had a look on his face like, you know, well, I, I got to use my, uh, you know, my tools earlier than what I thought I did. You know, and uh, he didn't look real comfortable in the first round as as much as he did leading up into the second round. But uh, it was times in the first round in that fight where uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez was uh, putting in some some real good work on him. Though. You know, had him up against the ropes, putting combinations on him. You know, they was uh, countering each other. You know, catching each other in between shots, trading hooks. And that's why I thought that's where it got dangerous for uh, Rodriguez at. You know, he was doing a little bit too much trading, sitting into the, uh, you know, the, the pocket too long. But the, the thing is, I'm not going to say sitting in the pocket too long. The thing was is that he, he wasn't moving his head, you know, after a while. You know, he was he was moving, you know, slipping in the pocket, you know, half of the time. But some a lot of times he was getting caught. When he was throwing his hooks, he was he he was he had his head on the chopping block. His chin was right there to be hit, you know. And the noise was landing some monstrous hooks. They both was landing some good hooks on each other, you know. Um, and that's why I thought the detriment, you know, came into. 
But going into the second round, um, Rodriguez didn't do anything different. He came with the pressure again, and, you know, they're exchanging. He's sitting in the pocket exchanging, and he he, he ends up uh, – I don't know if he was uh, they was trading hooks or he missed the hook or whatever, and the noise uh, clapped him on the chin. And uh, when he hit him, when he dropped Emmanuel Rodriguez, Emmanuel Rodriguez looked like his soul was snatched out of him. You could tell that uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez probably wasn't gonna come back in this fight. You know, uh, I, I was thinking that maybe he would, uh, you know, bit down, but. It just wasn't happening, man. The, the shots was was too too uh, punishing. Inouye was punching too hard. Evidently, you know, I always was wondering how real his power was, but evidently his power was real. Uh, you know, Manny Rodriguez gets up. You know, he he, he breaks the count out. You know, but uh, body shots, look, same old thing. You know, he goes down again, and uh, breaks the count out, gets back up. And I think I think the ref stopped the fight on the the, the uh, second, the third knock at the end of the second knockdown, the third knockdown, whatever it was. But the noise stops Emmanuel Rodriguez in the second round, you know, towards like the end of the second round. You know, uh, Rodriguez, you know, nose and mouth was all bloody and stuff. Man, it it looked man, it was it was bad, you know. But you could just tell that he know it just snatched the soul out of him when he dropped him and he hurt him very, very bad. He was hurt so bad he couldn't recover. It was pretty much it. So but that's pretty much all. Salute to Inouye. You know, he, he moves on to the finals. Uh ooh, I wanna see how good he really is. I haven't seen these guys press him yet. But that's y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.